Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor to stand here and face so many foreign friends. I think uh, you are my uh, new friends and as well as my close friends because all of you are interested in uh, Chinese culture. Well, I, as you know, traditional Chinese medicine is a small uh, is an important part of Chinese culture. Just like uh, China President Xi Jinping said, uh, traditional Chinese medicine is the key to open the treasure house of China, Chinese civilization. So that is why I will stand here and uh, uh, have a presentation about the use of traditional Chinese medicine in cosmetology. I will introduce myself first. I'm a dermatologist. Every day I will treat uh, patients with, within skin disorder. So cosmetology is also a small part of my work. So today I would like to talk to you about uh, how to use TCM methods to keep uh, the skin younger. Shall I sit here and uh, have the presentation because my English isn't well. I have to prepare my document and sometimes read it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, as people in China become more prosperous, they are more conscious of their appearance. Many dermatologists they have used uh, TCM to prevent as well as treat uh, skin disorder. Having a long history of more than 2,000 years, TCM still benefits Chinese people now. And I wish TCM will benefit uh, all of you in the future. Now I want to talk to you, oh sorry, the third one. The third one? Okay. Now uh, I want to talk about the characteristics Characteristics, the characteristics, sorry my English, <laughs> of TCM. The most important one is holism. What is holism? It's, I think it is now so familiar to you. Uh, I will uh, talk about Teo Ben Shahar. Uh, he is a psychologist in uh, of Harvard University. In fact, I'm his fans. He compared the difference between Western and Eastern thought. Well, let's say he said, Western scientists seek to understand, understand objects thoroughly by use of analysis, dissection, and amplification. While Eastern scientists, using the pr perspective of holism, seek to find the connections between things and take a step backwards to observe the whole picture. I think that might be the difference between uh, traditional Chinese medicine and Western medicine. In this area, I think maybe Professor Meng, he has more deeply thought about this because he is he's the, uh, he, he's a professor about uh, Chinese uh, culture. TCM uh, takes the human body as an organic whole. As you know, skin is merely a part of the body. So, uh, the skin has close relationship with the internal organs. The skin is outside and the organs are inside. The skin and organs are connected by meridians and the channels. So that means if the, the skin, firstly, the skin may reflect the disorder of the internal organs because they are connected and the disorder of the internal organs may reflect the appearance of the skin. So if you want to keep your skin healthy and young, you must keep the internal organs healthy and young. 
So that is the holism theory of traditional Chinese medicine. I'm not sure if can you understand what I yes. talked about? Okay, oh, you are so great. <laughs> Here, I want to compare. I want to compare uh, our human body as a tree. For example, if you want to uh, keep the tree, if you want to keep the leaves shiny and green, how can we do? Can we only clear the leaves every day? No. Can we only uh, apply the nutrition on the leaves? Of course, that's not enough. We must uh, take care of the whole of the tree. We must take care of the tree. We must uh, give enough nutrients to the whole tree. And we also give sunshine to the tree. And we also treat the disease of the tree. So the leaves change, uh, will keep green and shiny. That is the same meaning of how to keep your skin young. If you wish to keep your skin young, you must keep your whole body healthy. I will give you a few examples. Firstly, I uh, want to talk about myself. When I was in China, people, my, uh, a lot of my friends said, oh, Dr. Sung, you are so young. You look like a woman of 30 years old. But after the long journey from China to Europe, uh, because of the jet lag, I look, uh, I feel my skin t uh, changed a little bit. It tend to be more yellow and uh, dull and sag. So now maybe I look. One of my friends said, "Oh, Doctor Song, you look like a woman of 40 years old." <laughs> so in one week, <laughs> I grew 10 years old. But in fact, I'm 46 years old. So, uh, I'm, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'm always proud of my age. I don't mind to tell anybody about my age because I enjoyed my life experience. Uh, so I think give you some examples of other people. We can see the first picture. It was taken by uh, one of my patients. This patient suffered from uremia. We can see the change of his skin color. The complexion is dusky and dull. So no matter what kind of cosmetics applied on his face, his complexion cannot be changed unless the disease are treated. And the second, this child we can see, his complexion is pale and he, the skin changed to be much more dry. So can you only apply the cosmetics? Can you give laser to whiten the skin? No, we have to treat his disease. We have to treat anemia. So I think both TCM and Western medicine highlights the whole of the body. So in order to beautify the skin, both TCM and Western medicine emphasis the oral medicine or the nutrients food. Here there are a lot of examples, a lot of stories about how to uh, a, a lot of stories about Chinese beauties I will uh, tell you a few of, of them do you know what she was she was one of the most powerful women in Qing dynasty about uh, 200 years ago in China she was professor uh, she was Empress Cixi she was Empress Cixi. She was one of the most powerful women. This photo was taken when she was 70 years old. But we can see she, uh, her skin looks like a woman of about 40 years old, just like me. And her secret to keep her young, she ate pearl powder every week. 
as well as she ate a pearl rare pie every day because we believe pearl powder and pearl rare pie may keep her self young. Now we know pearl can clear free radicals and inhibit lipofuzzing and uh, poria is poria is a kind of Chinese herb, herbs it is a kind of medicine it's a kind of fungus that is able to improve the immune system as well as having anti-cancer and diuretic properties so this is the first story about the most powerful woman how she made herself looks young and we can see this young lady she lived about 2000 years ago she is her name was Xi Shi do you know of her story no I will talk about her uh, Xi Shi was one of the ancient four most beautiful women she was quite famous in China and she made her living by making and selling tofu do you know what tofu? Yes. you know, you, do you like tofu? Yes. I like it very much uh, people said her beautiful skin is the r result of her selling tofu and eat tofu every day because she had to contact with tofu every day so uh, there is a saying in China every beautiful girl who is selling tofu we call her tofu Xi Shi, Xi Shi is her name <laughs> now we know tofu is made of soya beans and soya bean is rich in protein and is active component isoflavin it's a kind of phytoestrogen it may keep the skin young especially to the woman to the how to say post-menopause post-menopause woman ah I bet you don't know about her this lady she is she is my dermatologist teacher how old is she? Imagine it. <coughs> 60. Uh, now she is 94 years old. And this photo was taken when she was 90 years old. Until now, she treats skin disorder patients every week. She treats patients, 200 patients per week. 200 skin disorder patients per week and every evening she use internet and uh, one day after her uh, clinical work the car didn't come to catch her back home and she walk in the street and see oh there's a bus she run in the street to catch the to catch the bus so I was astonished when I saw this scene and she why she is so young she keeps the methods of traditional Chinese medicine that is she ate a soy soup every morning and she likes uh, vegetables and eat vegetables every evening and she also uh, tell us to keep everything in of the mind put down put everything down keep calm and keep smell <laughs> I think maybe that might be the most important core of her young okay now after talking so many stories about Chinese beauty both modern beauty and the ancient beauties I think you might have some idea about uh, you, might, you might be curious how to slow aging how to keep the skin young now I want to tell you the second theory of traditional Chinese medicine do you still know the first theory 
holism. The first theory of TCM is holism. We keep our human body as an organic whole. The skin is merely a small part of the human body. So if you want to keep your skin young and beautiful beauty, you must keep the whole body healthy. And the second theory of traditional Chinese medicine is pattern identification. What is pattern identification? It is similar to the diagnosis of Western medicine. Now I will give you a diagram. We can see this area. We can see this area. We can imagine this area as the whole of the disease, the whole of the unhealthy conditions. So the is it longitude? Latitude. Okay, the longitude, maybe we can uh, think the longitude line represent the angles how Western medicine doctors see classified the unhealthy conditions. Each line represents a disease. For example, the first skin disorder is psoriasis. The second is eczema. The third is urticaria. So each longitude line represents one diagnosis of Western medicine. But differently, TCM practitioners classify the whole of the unhealthy conditions through the latitude line. So, for example, this line represents qi deficiency. This is blood deficiency. This is phlegm and, uh, and uh, dampness. So we can see in one latitude line, there are several points connected to Western diseases. So that is why TCM practitioners, TCM doctors, treat different diseases with one formula. At the same time, through one longitude line, we can see there are many connections with patterns, with Chinese patterns. So that is the reason why in one disease, for example, for example, catching cold, in TCM we use different methods to treat one Western disease. Can you understand what I mean? Okay, I think that might be the difference between traditional Chinese medicine and Western medicine. So, Western medicine emphasizes the uh, Western diagnosis. At the same time, we emphasize the pattern identification. We emphasize the patterns, although they are different from the diseases. Now, talking about aging, how many patterns? A lot of patterns, but I think four of these patterns are the most important. Okay, I will introduce the four patterns to you uh, one by one. The first pattern is qi and yin deficiency pattern. What is qi and yin deficiency pattern? Have you learned about yin and yang? Qi and the blood. Do you have any imagination about it? Quite difficult. Okay. I will see. Oh, where is my document? Okay, I think we can compare this pattern to a wilted flower. When the flower is wilted, the petals change to be a dull yellow color just like the skin changed to be a dull yellow color. The petals are loose and sagging with wrinkles on side, just like the skin changed to be saggy, dusky with wrinkles. So we may compare this pattern 
to a wilted flower. Of course, just uh, uh, like what I have talked, the human body is an organic whole, not only the wrinkles on the face, but also a lot of systemic symptoms. For example, not only sallow complexion, not only dense groups of wrinkles and sagging skin, the patients might have fatigue. Oh, I'm so tired. And soft, weak voice. I cannot speak slowly. And shortness of breath. Shortness of breath. He cannot breathe freely. So how to treat this pattern? Jensen. Jensen is good to treat this pattern as well as other herbs, for example, Dangui, Wu Weizi. All these herbs may nourish the skin, just uh, nourish the whole of the body as well as the skin, just uh, like uh, the flower needs the nutrients from the earth. Okay, that is the second pattern. The first pattern is qi and yin deficiency pattern, and this pattern is phlegm and dampness pattern. Here I talked of phlegm and dampness is totally different from the meaning of uh, Western medicine or uh, your language. Totally different. I think that is the. Uh, mean it has different meanings in traditional Chinese medicine. And phlegm and dampness in TCM is similar to the uh, metabolic wastes. So if the body uh, are aged, the uh, metabolic, the immune system is imbalanced and uh, me metabolic waste accumulate inside the body. We can compare this, this pattern to a room crowded with garbage. So if you want to decorate the room, what to do? Decorate directly? We uh, put a lot of things inside? No. First uh, we have to clean all the gar garbage out. So to, for this pattern, we have to use herbs to clear the whole of the body as well as to clear the skin. We don't use cleanser. Oh, uh, of course, I use the cleanser. But at the same time, TCM practitioners also use herbs to clean the skin through inside way. That is the second pattern. We may use yi yi ren, ma huang, Chen Pi, all these are Chinese herbs, Chinese medicine herbs. Okay, this is the second pattern and we change to the third pattern. The third pattern we call it kidney deficiency pattern. Uh, we may, the kidney here I mentioned is also different from the meaning of Western medicine. The kidney is the root of the of our body, the roof of the root of the life. You know, condition in traditional Chinese medicine, it is just like the root of the tree. So all the energies are accumulated inside the inside the kidney. If the kidney is strong, you are healthy. If the kidney is weak, you change to be old. So we may compare this pattern to a battery. So the kidney deficiency pattern is similar to a battery almost running out. So the manifestation of this pattern is dark circles around eyes, the dark circles around eyes, the dusky complexion, the dusky complexion, tiredness, sore pain in the lower back and knees. So after the long journey from China to here, I think I need to uh, give me more energy. <laughs> so the Chinese medicine, Liu Wei Di Huang Wan, is a good medicine to give a lot of energy inside the kidney. It is a famous formula in China. 
So the last pattern. The last pattern is a liver stagnation pattern. The last pattern is liver stagnation pattern. We may compare this pattern to a blocked waterway. Liver here is not only the liver organ, it is in charge of all the emotions. So if you are unhappy, if you are tightness, if you are irritation, your liver is stagnated. So if the liver is stagnated, qi and the blood cannot float fluently inside uh, meridians and the channels. So liver is stagnated, qi stagnated, blood stagnated channel and the meridians stagnated. So we can imagine when now water is blocked, the lower part of the stream cannot get enough water, cannot get enough nutrients. So if the liver is stagnation, is stagnated, if the chi and the blood is stagnated, the skin cannot get enough nutrients because the meridians are blocked. So we have to uh, soothe the uh, channels, soothe the meridians, and uh, we uh, will keep the liver smooth. So this is the fourth pattern. The manifestation of this pattern is melasma. Melasma is quite common in China for our yellow skin people. And for women, may suffer from menstrual problems and distended and painful breasts. And the feeling of depression or irritability. If liver is stagnated, the patients may uh, have the feeling of depression or irritability. At the same time, Depression and irritability may improve the uh, liver stagnation. So how to cheat? There is also a very famous formula, we call it Xiaoyao Wan. It may soothe liver and the meridians. Okay, I think uh, the four of these patterns I talked is uh, merely the four main patterns. There are also a lot of other patterns about aging. Uh, also, uh, we can treat patients and uh, compare. Oh, this is qi and yin uh, deficiency pattern um, combined with liver stagnation pattern. So sometimes we can see a lot of different patients in my clinical work. And uh, I think modern Chinese medicine doctors, just like me, we also use the uh, traditional herbs, the traditional decoction to drink to keep the body healthy, as well as we also don't reject the modern technology. We extract the uh, active compounds out from herbs, making them easier for patients to drink making them easier, making the herbs, making the extraction more uh, effect. So also we have other applications to be clinical, clinically tested. It still needs to be clinical test. And uh, Professor Sandashi, you are here. You may, uh, we may have more collaboration in this area maybe in the future. Here, for example, we extract the ginsenoside from ginseng, so we don't have to boil ginseng several hours and drink ginseng soup. We just take a small cap capsule. Uh, it contains ginsenoside inside. And ginsenoside is good for people with qi deficiency pattern, just like the first pattern I talked, the first pattern. Also here, this is uh, grape seed is extraction. It is not from China, it's from USA. The extract of grape seeds 
uh, may have the function to tonify the, uh, the skin, the third pattern. The third pattern, it may also has the function to uh, balance the immune system to antioxidant and other functions. Also tomato, tomato is both popular in China and in uh, Zagreb, I think. It is the Chinese, it is also the Chinese material medical records. Uh, it, it represents as supplement yin and clear toxin in the body. It, tomato not only tonify the body, but also clear the toxin out from the body. So it has two functions very uh, popular in China. Now we not only eat tomato, we also extract the active ingredients out from tomato. It is called what? Uh, 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 what is the name of the extraction from tomato? Lyco, lyco, lycopene, yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, sometimes we only eat the uh, small pills of lycopene, we don't have to uh, boil a big pot of tomato juice. Okay, I think before the end of my presentation, I will compare Western medicine and Chinese medicine. I think Western medicine is just like tea, just like coffee. Coffee is strong and tasty. And I think Chinese medicine is just like tea. Tea is clear and fresh. So, which is better? I think both tea and coffee both are better and we can enjoy tea and coffee at the same time. I think we, with, uh, uh, I think both traditional Chinese medicine and the Western medicine should be combined and help each other. And you and the me, we are friends, we can help each other. Thank you for your uh, listening. Thank you, Professor Sokin. Are there any questions about this? Maybe a little bit more specific or something general you want to ask? Uh, if you don't feel comfortable in speaking English, you can, you can maybe speak in Croatian and we can translate. And if not, I would really like Professor Zvadnik uh, to also address for a few sentences, a few minutes, and tell us the, the cooperation they are doing, because now we can we can also hear what's happening from, let's call it, the Western side of, of this, and um, to see how these two things combine. I think this is very important. So um, if you want, maybe you can wait with your questions for a few more minutes and maybe ask. Professor Knezhevich, for, for a few Thank more you, questions. For the Please. Beautiful presentation. Thank you. Uh, my name is Sandra Vladimir Knezhevich. I'm a professor at the Department of Pharmacology, Faculty of Pharmacy and Biochemistry. This is my colleague, Professor Vina Nagojevic, who is also involved in uh, cooperation between Faculty of Pharmacy and the uh, China Academy of uh, Chinese Medical Sciences. Uh, I'm very happy uh, uh, that I can say that uh, in uh, this year, uh, in late uh, April, we signed a memo, memorandum uh, of yes. understanding uh, between uh, our faculty and the China Academy. And also we have um, one bilateral project. Uh, the main focus of uh, this project is uh, uh, searching for antimicrobial agents uh, of, uh, from uh, Chinese, uh, traditional Chinese uh, plants and Croatian Mediterranean plants and the main investigator is Professor Vietnam and she also tell you a few words about this project. Uh, we uh, were very happy uh, in, uh, uh, in uh, China during our visit uh, because we can, uh, we could see uh, a good combination uh, between uh, traditional Chinese medicine and Western medicine in eye hospital. Uh, yeah. Sure, in, last uh, time you visited. Yes, and uh, 
we were so impressed uh, with uh, this kind of uh, combination. And I think it's a, this is a good way to continue also and use the same way uh, maybe in Croatia. So we can uh, learn so much uh, from your uh, We can learn each yes. other. <laughs> I will learn from you also. Yes. Uh, uh, my colleague and I uh, are coming from the uh, Department of Pharmacology, uh, which uh, Greek words uh, pharmacon means uh, drugs or medicine, and the second word uh, no, uh, gnosis means uh, the knowledge, yes. And uh, pharmacology is very important uh, pharmacy discipline, uh, which um, this is a study of uh, drugs uh, of um, uh, natural origin. So it is also very clear, pharmacognosy is very clear to oh, really, thank uh, you. very, very near to uh, traditional Chinese medicine. Um, herbal, yes, the part which uh, connected with uh, herbal medicine. Um, so maybe we have more yes. collaboration yes. with other. Mm. Yes. And okay. maybe Vienna can say a few words about the uh, project, <laughs> which is in, in progress. Yes. Okay, I'm uh, Professor Jan Bojekovic, and, and we work together. This is my team. <laughs> uh, I'm not so young. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. Yeah, so I'm, I'm very happy that uh, that uh, we, our department, uh, we started cooperation, scientific cooperation with China Academy of Chinese uh, Medicinal Sciences uh, already uh, five years, three or four, four to five years ago, since when I uh, for the first time visited your academy. And I, uh, uh, because the, our co cooperation started uh, in, uh, from Austria. Uh, because your colleague from China Academy mm -hmm. uh, and I, we worked together in the lab of Professor Brandner in Graz, in Austria. Mm -hmm. And so then we started to work oh. together on uh, oh. traditional Chinese herbal medicine. <laughs> oh. And so, and then, uh, then this my interest for traditional Chinese medicine started already. So, uh, and then we started to do some scientific work together and. I'm glad that we uh, got this project from uh, Croatian, uh, from Croatian Ministry of Science and Technology, and this is bilateral project, so it's from China and Croatia, and so I'm glad that we um, we enlarged this uh, investigation about traditional Chinese medicine in Croatia, and I'm. Uh, I'm happy that uh, your Chinese colleague also at the Academy, they are very interested in medicinal plants from, uh, from Croatia, from this Mediterranean, uh, Helichrysum, for example, Immortel, it's, it's very uh, popular in the mythology, so I think yes. that's also a good topic for maybe some future collaboration. Oh, okay. And um, so and I'm also very glad that uh, soon our students at the Faculty of Pharmacy, they will uh, be able to listen much more about traditional Chinese medicine because so. uh, since uh, since autumn we will uh, have a new uh, course uh, of about traditional Chinese medicine. Oh really? Yes. And so this this will be, I think, first course uh, at the University of Zagreb because we are at the Faculty of Pharmacy. We are in charge for this. Uh, traditional Chinese herbal medicine so and I'm so glad that our students can uh, learn more and spread the knowledge and, oh, and much that's more. Great. So one day you will come to our academy and give us a, uh, a yeah. speech about uh, your traditional herbs. <laughs> yeah, we already, we, 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 when we visited in May, when we last visited time. Academy, yeah, yeah, we sure. gave a presentation. Yeah. Oh, yes, oh last time you, you arrived here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you have any questions? Sorry. Maybe I, I, I have a question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm afraid only one because uh, my... Uh, they are waiting for me, sorry. For example, if you have all herbs here, can you cure the people here? Sorry? If you have all your herbs here, can you cure the people here in Croatia? 
uh, if I had all yes. the herbs here, yes. can I or to do what? Can you cure? Cure, cure, yes. cure the patients. Patients. The patients. Uh, it depends on the uh, policy. <laughs> yeah, sure. I think m maybe my license in China is not. Uh, allow to 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 do my work in here. So we are trying. I'm sure the professor is not doesn't know operational laws. So this is we, we are trying to do this. We are trying to do this. So this afternoon we have met. Yeah, sure. We have met the uh, health ministry. Yeah, in the, this afternoon we have met them. <laughs> if I may have one very practical question, there are girls here, boys here. What can we do on a daily basis? What would you suggest to us, based on the traditional Chinese medicine, based on, on, on your experience? What can we do to stay beautiful longer, to stay younger longer? <laughs> I think this is a question everybody wants to know. I but, think you know, that the research is the, 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 the how can I look good when I'm 120 <laughs> years old? <laughs> I would say. Each one has its own way to keep the skin. The, to keep the skin young, but for uh, I think for all of you, the first thing you must be interested in Chinese culture, because <laughs> because you have to learn more about the theory of traditional Chinese medicine. Just now I talked only talked about the four patterns. There are a lot of other patterns, and you should know uh, well, what kind of pattern uh, will I belong to. So. If I know I belong to T and Yin deficiency pattern, I will eat ginseng. I will eat ginseng no side early before I my uh, skin change to be sagging. So if I know I'm T stagnation, I may uh, do more physical exercise. I may uh, smell every day and uh, keep the Qi float fluently inside my body. So the first, uh, I you have to know the patterns just uh, like the diagnosis of Western medicine. So that is really quite difficult for uh, everybody to know uh, a lot of things about traditional Chinese medicine. So maybe how about have more courses about this area? <laughs> can we do this by ourselves? Or yeah. we need a professional like a doctor who can tell us I think, about mm, uh, doctors is more is of course more is accurate, more course. yeah more important. But you can eat tofu, uh, tomato, and uh, more vegetables, beans, and our, I think all these are quite good to keep the healthy, keep the body healthy. So tofu, tomato, in Chinese culture. Yeah, <laughs> why not? <laughs> why not? So we'll open a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> so you can eat tofu this evening. <laughs> okay. Okay. I want to thank Professor Songting. Unfortunately, she has to go, and the rest of the delegation is waiting for her. I'm so sorry. I have. So to. if there is another last question, maybe somewhere there. Can you tell us where can we find this information about traditional Chinese medicine? You, uh, the information about traditional Chinese medicine, I think uh, you can use internet. There are a lot of a lot of documents about this. A lot of just simple guidelines. Just Sing single guidelines. Like guidelines. So like, my suggestion is like this: you can send the email what you're interested about to the Confucius Institute. We will look at the look to your questions. We will summarize them. We will send them to. Okay, uh, no problem. You have my email address. When we have the documents, when we find the books, we will ask our volunteers and our staff to read them through and, and make maybe a summary or something. And what we are also planning to do is develop a website which will give a better introduction to the Chinese traditional medicine, at least for the beginning. And then later on, we hope that we can bring more professionals from the Chinese Academy of Medical Sciences, and also hopefully more professionals, professional, uh, well, doctors of traditional Chinese medicine who might even start doing some, some kind of work in Croatia and talk to the Ministry of, of Health once they have 
the government here. Uh, <laughs> 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 I, <laughs> I wish one day I have the license and uh, can do clinical work here. <laughs> I wish. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ono što je žalosno, ja vam samo sekundu, ono što je žalosno, u Hrvatskoj imate relativno nekoliko ljudi koji se bave rakom kulturom, ali recimo što se tiče liječenja, što se tiče nekakvih prirodnih sarta ili nekakvih piljaka, nažalost, evo ja koji vam znam, postoji praktički niti jedan kimijski liječenj koji se bavi. Količina prirodnih evola u kimiji ovog razreta je jedan ovaj program, kažem da svoje roznatelje uzimamo, uzimamo određene mi se još moramo malo potruditi da to ne zađe. Mišta, hvala što ste došli. Mi ćemo ovaj video za vaše kolege koji nisu bili mogući što bi javiti na YouTube-u, a nadam se da ćete doći i sljedeći puta kad će biti još možda nekakvi konkretnih odgovora kako da stanete mladi i ljepši osnovni. Yeah, mom. Yeah.